Okay, so here is a practice problem on uh, position and velocity. And the print's a little bit small, so I apologize for that, so let me read it to you. So an object has a mass of 27 kilograms, and it moves from a position of 8, negative 12, negative 4 meters to, neg to 3, negative 15, 6 meters from a time t equals 0 to 6.2 seconds. What's the average velocity over this time period? So we're going to start off with the definition of average velocity. V average is the change in position over the change in time. Change is super important here, okay? It's the change in. So I can write this as R2 minus R1 over T2 minus T1. So, oops. So R2 is the final position, which is right here. I'm gonna write that as three, negative 15, six. I'm gonna leave the units off just for simplicity. R1 is gonna be negative eight, I'm sorry, 8, negative 12, negative 4. That's a vector. All of that divided by uh, 6.2 minus 0. So let's put 6.2. Okay, so now how do I calculate this? I'm going to move it down here. So to do this, I'm going to take the, I have two vectors. I'm subtracting vectors. I can just subtract the components. So I'm going to say the vector component is going to be 3 minus 8. That's negative 5 negative 15 minus negative 12, so it's plus 12, so it's going to be negative 3. 6 minus negative 4 is going to be 10. All that over 6.2. Now, I can divide each, I'm dividing by a scalar value, so I can divide each component by that scalar value. In this case, I'm actually going to switch to my calculator. Uh, if you haven't seen this before, this is my old Hewlett Packard RPN calculator, so it's a little bit different. I'm going to enter this number in first, so I'm just going to do 5, enter, 6.2 divided by, so I get 0 0.806, negative, negative 0 0.806. There was a question about how many decimal places should you carry it to. I don't really care. It doesn't matter. It, if we're measuring and doing an experiment, it would matter, but in this case, it doesn't matter. Now, 3 divided by 6.2 and that's going to be 0.484 and then 10 divided by 6.2 1.61 and that's meters per second that's my average velocity now this next part says what's the uh, object's average momentum so momentum average is just going to be mass times the average velocity as a vector so I can multiply this by the mass of 27 kilograms, and I can do that. Hmm. Huh. Did oh, did it stop? Okay. That. My little calculator thing broke here. So put this right here on the battery. It's a magnet. And then put my paper clip right there and right there. Yep, it worked. Okay. So I'm just going to multiply each of these by 27, and that will give me my momentum. So I have a 0.806, enter 27 times. So I get 21.8, and I have 0.484, enter 27 times 13.07. Let's see, 13.1. 13. And then finally, I have 1.6127 times is 43.5. Sorry. And that's going to be kilogram meters per second. Okay, finally, the last part says if an object has the same average velocity from 6.2 seconds to 19.2 seconds, what will be the final position? So here I'm going to start with this. Let's say v average is delta r over delta t and that's going to be let's call this r3 minus r2 over t3 minus t2 you can use any combination here because the average velocity is constant now if i take this and i multiply both sides by t3 minus t2 i get r3 minus R2 equals V average T3 
minus T2. Add R2 to both sides. R3 equals R2 plus V average average T3 minus T2. So if I know the position at time 2, which I'm going to use as this uh, 3, negative 15, 6 meters, which I do, and I know the average velocity, which I do, and I know the change in time, which I do, I can find the final position. So let's just write that out. R3 equals R2, which is 3, negative 15, 6, plus the average velocity, which is this vector, negative 0 0.806, 0 0.484, 1.61, times the change in time, which is going to be 19.2 minus 6.2. So I can just put that all my calculator. I'm going to do all the x's first, then all the y's, then all the z's. So here I'm going to have 3. Let's put it in my calculator right here. Can you see that? Drop, 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 drop. Oops, okay. So I'm going to have uh, 3, enter. And then I'm going to have this is 19.2 minus 16 or 6.2 is going to be, uh, what is that? Thir 13, right? 13 seconds. So that's 13. So then I have 13 times this. So I'm going to say uh, 0.806 change sign, enter 13 times plus. So my x coordinate is going to be negative 7.48. Now I'm going to do my y. So I start off with 15 negative, and then I have that same 13, and I have 0.484 enter 13 times plus negative 8.71, and then finally my z is going to be 6, 1.61 enter 13 times plus 26.93 meters. And that's the final position at 19.2 seconds. There you go.